Okay, so we're going on a little adventure today. We're gonna find ourselves two Jeeps. Two very different Jeeps. One <laughs> would be great having fun in the sun, going off road, camping, fell in the blank. She's actually up oh, right here. Ah. And my other Jeep I did mention is gonna be very different. That's definitely not it. That's a GMC. Oh wait, I got a Grand Cherokee Overland. Stay tuned. summer fun as you can see we're inside the Jeep I do have the top open quick quick easy access down here as far as my gearbox I got a fun little six-speed verse all the way over and shift on the fly do note of course as mentioned this is a lifted Jeep I do have four-wheel drive it is a trail rated as well some cool other things just to be real quick this is the VVT engine, not that god awful 3.8. So all of that means is you're gonna get a little bit better on gas mile, even with it being a lift, and you get a lot more power. So if you ever find yourselves out on the trails or towing something in the back, it will definitely make life a little easier for you. Or just for those fun days, up the roof, have a good time. So just real quick, I wanna go over the four wheel drive system in this. With any car, any car, even with the stick, do make sure you're in neutral to start off. Foot is down on the clutch. I am in two-wheel drive high right now. So, I have two other settings, actually three if you count neutral for the transfer case. I have four-wheel drive high, there's my neutral, and four-wheel drive low. Now, that once you actually get into your settings, this is me being a little old school, I'll throw the car in reverse, I'll back up a good two, three feet, Throw it and drive, my front and rear diffs are now locked, and away we go. But look at that, I'm already pulling a grand and I'm not doing even a mile an hour, so I really have some creeper gears in this for some low wheel drive going. As I mentioned, this is not the 3.8. What we have here is a beautiful, 3.6 liter VVT. You see this a lot in Challengers, Chargers, minivans, 300 Cs, and of course the Jeep Cherokee and the Murano. As far as the 3.6 goes inside this Wrangler, I did mention I absolutely love this, especially over the 3.8. A lot of it is power. You're getting easily, easily 280, 290 horsepower out of these engines, where the previous was barely mustering up about 200 especially with these big old wheels. Once you really start turning that much weight, you need more power. If you don't, you sacrifice a lot out of fuel consumption. Thankfully, that V6 is just about like an older V8. So you really, really have the power to turn those guys. Or in which you can take it off to have some fun off-road. You'll really love the engine choice. the Jeep Wrangler a little Spartan for you, a little brutish, grab yourself a Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland. This thing is plush, plushed out. Welcome back and welcome inside the Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland. Man, since 1941, these guys have been pursuing off-road fantasies. I'm really impressed though with their luxury line. And I think it's a little funny, they call it a Willis Overland. But to the point, as you can see, I have a huge, huge panoramic roof letting the air in nav screen kind of even had ventilated seats heated seats backup camera nav screen full touch climate control the whole nine yards also a little sporty about this jeep a 57 hemi paddle shifters this thing is nice it's really really nice come in and check it out for yourself 
Other thing I love about this guy, a lot of SUVs have a lot of really nasty blind spots. From the sides, I have wonderful, wonderful views. The only nasty spot I have, one little spot, you might see me right behind me is that window pillar. Other than that, God, she's easy. But with that window pillar, of course, I have a nice backup screen. So as mentioned with my, my touch screen, I do have nav, media controls, got heated seats, vented seats, mirror dimmer for climate. Of course, everything is push back to my nav. Some other things I did mention about my back window pillars, it does make it a little fun backing up. Blind spot from side to side really isn't nasty, but my biggest help, oh, let's see if I can get it. There we go. <laughs> I have a fairly decent backup screen and something that's kind of hard to notice on that camera, both side view mirrors actually angled down. So they help me look around for those curbs so you don't find yourself backing in and getting some nasty curb rash. good horsepower numbers. They're fun, fun engines, but they're reliable, they're very durable, and very easy to maintain. In conclusion about these two Jeeps, I mean, both are amazing vehicles. Each one has their own silver lining. At the end of the day, it's your personal opinion which one you think suits your bill the most or for your family the most. But for me, I'm in the Jeep I like. I'm gonna see y'all later.